It's you. Why did you do that? You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm sorry if I scared you. Are you all right, Professor Bu? My heart is pumping very fast. I have to take a rest for a while. Um, can you help me, Titan? Help? <laughs> sure, I'll help you. Uh, your wish is my command. Um, could you help me continue this week's episode of science? You're letting me be the host? Oh, yes! Yes! That's great! Thank you! Thank you, Professor Du. <laughs> Where do we start? Um, this is my program, Professor Du. Can you please be silent? I have work to do, you know. What? Okay, let's start our show for today by looking back at the previous episode of Space Exploration. Astronomy is the study of the history, position, movement, and composition of objects in outer space. Copernicus, the father of modern astronomy, believed that the sun was the center of the universe and that the earth and other planets orbited around it. He also stated that the earth rotates on its own axis. While Galileo Galilei, the first man to use a telescope to observe outer space found that the Milky Way contained millions of stars and planets, studied the sunspots that he observed on the surface of the sun and discovered four moons orbiting Jupiter. Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity and explained the movement of the planets around the sun. The telescope is used to enable distant objects in space to be seen from Earth. Outer space is the area outside the Earth's atmosphere. Rockets were used to launch satellites to improve communication between the continents, obtain information for weather forecasts, and for astronomers to study more about Earth and other objects in space. Space shuttles later replace the rockets as they are more cost-effective. Space probes are robots that are sent from Earth to get information and photographs of other planets. I hope you still remember that. Okay, where do we start? Hmm. How about the future and benefits of space exploration? Resources are already running low. 
If the population continues to grow the way it is growing now, all sources of minerals will soon be depleted. So, scientists feel that the time has come to build colonies in space so that some of the world's population can live in them. Each colony will most likely be in the shape of a rotating wheel orbiting the Earth. The rotation on its axis will create a force similar to gravity. People who live in these colonies will be able to grow plants in greenhouses for food and oxygen. Space shuttles can be used to transport the things that they need from Earth. It is believed that we will be able to mine for minerals and other precious metals on the Moon and other planets when our resources on Earth are depleted. to obtain electrical energy from space as well. The sun's rays are much stronger in outer space and could be an alternative form of energy for us. The solar energy in outer space can be converted into electrical energy through solar cells. See that? What a wonderful figure. I would like to be a friend of that satellite. I wonder if I can get her phone number. <laughs> for the remote sensing projects in the country. Generally, satellites are used for remote sensing in the fields of telecommunications, weather forecasting, searching for natural resources, defense systems, medicine, manufacturing, and mining. Now, let's look at telecommunications. Communication satellites enable instant communication through radio, television, telephones, and computers anywhere in the world. The Intelsat network is an arrangement of three satellites over the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. It enables live television broadcasts 
and teleconferencing to be transmitted all over the world. The Palapa 2 satellite is used by Indonesia to make communications with its many scattered islands easier. Big countries such as the United States of America, Russia, and India use satellites to broadcast educational programs. This is very helpful especially for those staying in rural and isolated places. and clouds in the atmosphere. This information is sent to base stations on Earth for analysis and is used for weather forecasts. These satellites have cameras and other devices to detect microwaves and sound waves. They help us to study the conditions of the atmosphere below the clouds. These satellites can also tell us about tornadoes and hurricanes so that early warnings can be given to save people and property. Satellites can take photographs of vast areas of the surface of the Earth. From these photographs, natural resources such as petroleum, coal, natural gas, and minerals can be detected. These photographs can also show suitable areas of land for harvesting particular crops, areas that have been affected by disease and areas that have been attacked by pests. And that is not all. A satellite can also be used to protect our soil from enemies. We can also use satellites as defense systems. Satellites have been used to detect guided missiles and important military and defense installations in a particular country. These satellites are equipped with cameras that have high magnifying power to observe events in other countries. Satellites can also be used in the field of medicine and manufacturing. Since outer space is completely empty of all gases in air and weightless, it is the ideal place for the creation of many new, pure and high quality materials. Special alloys that are lighter and stronger than some metals and pure crystals for the production of microchips have been successfully made in outer space. And that's not all. 
special plastics and metals for the protection of synthetic limbs have also been produced far, far away in outer space. Mining areas can also be detected through satellites. Scientists believe that the moon and other planets contain certain minerals that are becoming less and less on Earth. And satellites can help us find them. So there, a million reasons why satellites are so important to mankind. Okay guys, I think that's enough for today. But before I go, let's recall what we have learned. Scientists are researching the possibility of setting up space colonies to overcome overcrowding on Earth. There is also a great possibility that we will be able to mine for minerals and other precious metals on the moon and other planets. We can do this when our resources on Earth are depleted. Many man-made satellites have been launched into orbit around the Earth to do remote sensing for telecommunications, weather forecasting, searching for natural resources, defense systems, medicine, manufacturing, and mining. <laughs> For a ride, come on over and hold on tight. Come on over, we'll fly into space. So come on, come on, come on. Get in my ship, we're gonna make a trip into the galaxy. There's so much things to see. We'll zoom up to the sky and you can fly real high. Go past the satellite, I'll watch a meteorite. I've got, got a telescope, telescope to help you see so far across the universe, and you can see a star. We'll be in outer space, space. we've got, got a lot of space, so come on, come on, come on. The Curie Venus Earth, they are the first three. Mars, you'll be the seventh, forever they will be. You and the Neptune, Pluto, the rest of the gang, they are the nine planets that circle the sun. Let's go for a ride, come on over and hold on tight, come on over, we'll fly into space, so come on, come on, come on. Get in my ship, we're gonna make a trip into the galaxy, there's so much things to see, we'll zoom up to the sky and you can fly real high. Go past the satellite, I'll watch a meteorite. I've got a telescope to help you see so far Across the universe and you can see a star We'll be in outer space, we've got a lot of space So come on, come on, come on The Curie Venus Earth, they are the first three Mars, you'll be the seventh, forever they will be You and the Neptune, Pluto, the rest of the gang They're all the nine planets that circle the sun Help you see so far across, across the universe, universe, and you can see a star. We'll be in outer space, we've got a lot of space, so come on, come on, come on. Mercury, Venus, Earth, they are the first three. Mars, you get a Saturn, forever they will be. You and the Neptune, Pluto, the rest of the gang, they're all the nine planets that circle the sun.
So guys, sorry to say that our show for today is coming to an end. We will meet again in another new episode of Science. Um, if I manage to find my way home, or if I find Professor Duke and his cabinet transport. <laughs>